Have you ever wondered what happens when luxury meets a little too much reality? What about when a royal wardrobe clash turns into a fashion faux pas that takes over social media? In today's video, we're diving into Meghan Markle's first day in Colombia, a trip that was supposed to be all about stunning outfits and high fashion, but ended up being overshadowed by an unexpected and rather unfortunate wardrobe malfunction. Let's unravel how an outfit meant to dazzle ended up being the only thing anyone could talk about, and what this incident reveals about the pressures of royal fashion in the public eye. Meghan Markle's arrival in Bogota, Colombia, was anticipated with great fanfare. As a member of the British royal family, every move she makes is scrutinized, and her fashion choices are no exception. On this trip, Meghan didn't disappoint, at least not in terms of expense. She touched down in Bogota dressed to the nines, starting with a $598 navy vest paired with $448 trousers. And of course, no royal outfit would be complete without a $3,775 Laura Piana handbag, 650-pound Pippa small earrings, and a dazzling array of bracelets and a Cartier watch worth nearly $25,000. Her Manolo Blahnik black heels, costing another £595, completed the look. It was clear that no expense had been spared, and Meghan was ready to impress the crowds. The outfit that was supposed to be the crown jewel of Meghan's wardrobe was her choice for the Responsible Digital Future Forum at Tadeo University. She opted for a $597 chocolate brown shirt by Victoria Beckham, yes, the same Victoria Beckham, whose rumored cooling relationship with Meghan has been the subject of much speculation. The shirt was paired with glossy trousers and burnt orange suede sandals, which were intended to give off a chic yet laid-back vibe. But what was meant to be a fashion triumph quickly turned into a disaster, as the Colombian heat proved too much for Meghan's outfit. As the day wore on, Meghan's choice of a heavy, dark fabric began to show signs of strain, literally. When she and Prince Harry stepped out for photographs, what caught everyone's attention wasn't her expensive jewellery or her well-curated outfit, but rather the sweat stains that had begun to appear. Most notably, these sweat stains were centred around her crotch area, a particularly unfortunate location for any kind of wardrobe malfunction. The stark contrast between the dark fabric and the visible perspiration left little to the imagination and it didn't take long for the cameras to capture the moment. The reaction on social media was swift and unforgiving. Comments flooded in, ranging from concern to outright mockery. One user questioned why Meghan was sweating in areas that others weren't, especially considering she had been sitting down for most of the event. The sweat stains quickly overshadowed any discussion of her fashion choices, or the event itself, with the incident becoming a talking point for both her critics and fans alike. As if the situation wasn't already uncomfortable enough, reports surfaced that Prince Harry seemed to distance himself from Meghan during the photo op, allegedly noticing the sweat stains and opting to keep his hands behind his back rather than embracing his wife. This small gesture, or lack thereof, only added fuel to the fire, with many speculating about the state of their relationship. Whether or not Harry's reaction was deliberate, it certainly didn't help to quell the growing chatter about Meghan's fashion misstep. The focus on Meghan's wardrobe, however, didn't end with just the sweat stains. The entire ensemble became a point of discussion, but not for the reasons Meghan might have hoped. Instead of praising her for her stylish choices, the conversation turned to questions about practicality and taste. Why had she chosen such heavy, dark fabric for a humid day in Bogota. Was she more focused on flaunting designer labels than on selecting a functional outfit? These questions underscored a larger issue that often plagues public figures, particularly women, finding the balance between style and substance. This incident highlights the often unforgiving nature of public life, where even the smallest misstep can become a major story. It also serves as a reminder that no amount of money or luxury can protect one from the realities of everyday life, like sweating on a hot day. Meghan, 
known for her love of high-end fashion and meticulously curated appearances, was brought down by something as basic as perspiration, proving that even royals are not immune to the challenges of dressing for the weather. The takeaway from Meghan's Colombian wardrobe malfunction is clear. Sometimes, practicality should take precedence over luxury. While it's understandable that Meghan wanted to impress with her choice of outfits, the incident serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of considering the environment and circumstances when selecting what to wear. After all, in the world of fashion, it's not just about the price tag, it's about how well an outfit functions in real life. For viewers following Meghan's every move, this incident might be a source of schadenfreude, or simply a reminder that even the most polished public figures have their off days. But beyond the gossip and the headlines, it's also a moment to reflect on the pressures faced by those in the public eye, especially when it comes to living up to impossible standards of perfection. Meghan's experience in Colombia, while unfortunate, is ultimately relatable. Who among us hasn't regretted a wardrobe choice on a hot day? In wrapping up this video, let's remember that fashion is as much about making mistakes as it is about making statements. Meghan Markle's Colombian visit might not have gone as planned, but it's a reminder that even in the world of royalty, the unexpected can happen. So the next time you're packing for a high-profile event, whether you're a duchess or not,